This is from a section of my manuscript called Literally Speaking. I think we have a photo to it. I don't remember life before clumping scoopable cat litter. I can't imagine life without it. Aging rubber made dishpans were recycled as cat toilets before we began buying the actual litter boxes. The door to our unheated den is kept closed in the colder months, so we keep a 15 by 18 inch litter box in the storage room just around the corner from our kitchen table. It is never enjoyable when one of the cats takes a dump while we're eating. I think they do it on purpose. By now, we had stopped using a 13-gallon plastic trash container for kitchen trash. It took three days to fill up and would start to stink long before then. Instead, we used plastic shopping bags, Walmart bags, lined with a section of newspaper and placed on top of the empty container, which is next to the litter box. The Arm & Hammer multi-cap litter does a good job of suppressing the cat urine odor, even after it is scooped into the bag. The poop, however, requires immediate removal from the house and a squirt of air freshener. Because of all that cat food we buy, there is never a shortage of bags. Funny how that works out. <laughs> Using a litter box is not a skill that cats are born with. Sure, the selection of the right spot and then covering it when they're done is natural behavior, even for feral cats. Young kittens are usually no problem. You pick up their poop from the floor and put it in the litter box, then put them in the box. <laughs> they also learn from their mother, an older cat who uses a box. Once they realize it is not a place to play or sleep, they are officially potty trained. The older cats we have inherited from the neighbors have had potty training or picked it up quickly. Occasionally we've got a slow learner and we have these carpet stains to prove it. Uh, teaching a cat where to go in the house can be more difficult than teaching a dog not to go in the house. First, you have to convince them that the cat litter in the box is the same as the dirt outside. It doesn't feel the same or smell the same to them. So you bring in some dirt from the area the cats use as a toilet outside and add it to the litter box. Eventually, they get the idea and you can stop bringing in dirt. Cat parents also have a thing or two to learn about litter boxes. When a cat stands in a box and pees on the wall, you need a taller box. <laughs> you also need a mat or thick piece of cardboard under the box, covering more area than the box, for the times they get careless or decide to think outside the box. <laughs> uh, one of my cats is famous for this, but she usually leaves little hard bullets that are easy to pick up. You can buy a special mat for the cats to wipe their feet when they are done and remove any litter stuck between their toes. I don't have one because it would stick out too far and we would trip over it in our tiny storage room. Besides, they have a house full of carpet to use instead. <laughs> there is a thick doormat near the litter box in the den they can use to clean their paws and sharpen their claws. Uh, we had a scratching post for them, but someone kept urinating on it. <laughs> Walking near one of the litter boxes without shoes can be a painful experience. Cats do not care if they scratch the litter out of the box. Anything that remotely resembles a litter box should never be left on the floor. <laughs> the chore of litter box cleaning must be taken seriously. It's a cat parent's duty. Would you use a toilet that hasn't been flushed? Mother and I have become used to pet odors, so we must check the boxes frequently. Since they don't walk, walk by carrying a newspaper or announce their intent to use the toilet, I rarely see them go. Some of them bury their business while others don't. Searching the heaped up piles of litter is like panning for gold, in which case I've thrown away millions. <laughs> the old plastic scooper finally broke, so I bought a new metal one. It's square, unlike the round metal scooper in the den, which is useless for cleaning corners. The poop is no problem, unless it's runny or stuck to the inside of the box. <laughs> the, the cat patties are usually dished in the middle and must be shaken gently to allow the excess litter to fall through the scooper without causing them to disintegrate. At $15 for 28 pounds of cat litter, that's the real gold here. <laughs> 
If stains and odors remain after a thorough cleaning of the litter box, it's time for a new one. Putting the poop scooper in a dishwasher is not advised. <laughs> we, we keep an old kitchen knife in the storage room near the litter box to scrape dried cat food off their dishes. I also use it to scrape crud off the poop scooper. <laughs> Someday I plan to market so it doesn't accidentally get back into the silverware drawer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.